Good morning, Glenn. Brian Gallagos here from Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. I just wanted to reach out and first of all, as always, say thank you so much uh, for your inquiry on the 2020 Blazer Premier. I wanted to shoot you a quick video. I'm super excited. I absolutely love this vehicle. Um, show you some of the fun features that come in this. So we're going to do a little walk around. All right. So we got our rear parking sensors right here. Now we can tow with this, can't tow a ton with this. We can tow U-Haul trailers, things like that. Um, we're not gonna be towing anything crazy heavy, but uh, what I like is when you're not towing something, this cover slips on and snaps into place. So it just keeps it looking clean, sleek, beautiful. So there's a button on the key fob where you can push it twice and open that up, or you just tap that button underneath. Now we'll come around to the inside here, show you some of this fun stuff. I do love these rails that are in here. Uh, what you can do is if you go to the home goods store, you got a couple gallons of milk, whatever it happens to be, you kind of secure those in place up against those back seats, up against uh, uh, boxes that happen to be there, whatever it happens to be. Really, really cool. Another neat feature that I like is if you're unloading your, uh, your Ikea trip or your Costco trip or whatever it might be, and you get to the back, you're like, man, I'm gonna need a little bit more space. We're just gonna pull this little lever right here. Boom, space. I love it. You can push this button right here, or there's a spot underneath here where we can actually just kick. Boop, boop, and that's going to open the tailgate hands free. Pretty nice. Coming around to the back seat here, you can see that we have a ton of leg room in here. I'm going to crawl in here. I'm six feet tall. Look how much room I got. Look at all that. I love it. We also have USB, USB C and a 120 volt outlet back here so everybody can stay charged and stay connected because that's the day we live in right you know what else is really cool about these back seats they're heated awesome so everybody can stay nice and cozy especially on those 11 degree days now you do have this awesome sunroof moonroof combo right here and it spans two thirds of the length of the roof it's pretty incredible you got the 3.6 liter v6 in here so plenty of power in this vehicle. Now we're gonna show you the neat bells and whistles. So we got memory seats right here, right? So our seats, our steering wheel, boop, boop, and our mirrors are all going to, uh, to be able to be set with those memory functions. So as soon as you get in with that key fob and you start the vehicle, everything goes right into place, right where you want it to. And we are on our way. We are cozy. We are comfortable. We got a heated steering wheel in this, which I really, really love. I'm telling you. Uh, my wife has one in her Traverse. I wish she'd let me drive it as much as I want to, but you know, it's her car. We. <laughs> my truck doesn't have a heated steering wheel, but my next one will. I'll tell you that right now. Coming up here, what I like is we can scroll through here, right? We've got trip A, trip B. We can see our fuel range is low, easy fix. Engine oil life, tire pressure sensor on each tire. We can scroll down and see where our air filter life is at. We can set a timer if we wanna race home, see if we can beat our old times. So you can play around with the audio settings, navigation settings, and phone settings all right from here as well, which is pretty neat. And then if we scroll over, we can, uh, we can change uh, our favorites, favorite button setting, radio media settings, all of that right from here. And that's just using this little directional pad and this roller right here. So pretty stinking cool. All right, now, hands-free calling is right here. So when we pair our phone via Bluetooth, with our hands-free calling, we're gonna be able to hit that button and as soon as it beeps, say, call mom. Calling mom. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So it makes life easy. Tune to Sirius XM 32, uh, the bridge. If you're not familiar, check it out. It's that, uh, that kind of classic soft rock. It's really, really awesome. Probably my favorite station. I'm rambling. On the steering wheel as well, we've got this collision control with forward automatic braking. So we can set that distance. Uh, if somebody slams on their brakes in front of us and we don't notice it, little red light's gonna flash. We're gonna hear a little beep. If we don't react, the car will react. It's smart. It doesn't want to get into an accident. 
Speaking of the car being smart, we've got our lane keep assist right here. So if we're going over the lines while we're driving down the road and we don't have our blinker on, the car is going to warn us and say, hey, just adds up. You know, you're going over the lines. Is this something you're intending to do? It's, it's, it's nice. It makes driving feel safer, um, feel more comfortable, uh, especially with the amount of traffic that is out here in Utah. You know, it's, it's nice to know that you're, that you're, that you're safer and that the car is looking out for you. Right here, we just spin this dial. We've got two wheel drive. We've got four wheel drive. We've got a sport mode, hill descent mode, and our trailering mode. Sport mode is super fun. This thing is really torquey. Uh, that's gonna change where our RPM shift. Same with the hill descent mode. That's for like creeping down a mountain. Um, come over here. I wanna show you, we got a wireless phone charger. So if you have a newer version, Android or Apple, we just set our phone down right here. Uh, no connection necessary. It'll start to charge automatically, okay? Or we've got the USB port here that you can plug your phone in. When you physically plug your phone in, you're going to have access to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And that's going to give us access to uh, essentially a second phone screen. So we're going to be able to uh, check out our text messages, check on the weather, uh, have Google Maps, things of that nature. Now coming around in here, you're not going to need Google Maps with this one because this does have the navigation, which is nice. You've also got another USB, USB-C, and 12 volt. So like I said, we're staying connected. Very important. Uh, I wanna mention the styling in here really quick. So first of all, this is cool. We're actually gonna spin this vent to change the temperature, right? Uh, the interior of this was designed after the Camaro because they wanted the new Blazer to be sporty, but also be that, that utility all-wheel drive uh, uh, midsize SUV. So I think they nailed it. I think they knocked it out of the park. Uh, I love all the little tiny details in here. Coming up here, we do have our cooled seats. We've got heated seats, right? We've got the sync button here, so that's kind of neat. If you run hot and they run cold or vice versa, you can change that, right? They're, they, they, like, they like it a little cooler. We like it to be warm. Uh, they get out of the car. You just push this sync button right here. Psh, automatically, it's gonna sync to what the driver's setting is at. Super cool. This does have the auto stop start feature on it. You can shut that off if you're not a fan. When the engine's warmed up and you come to a complete stop, the engine will shut off. When you take your foot off the brake before you apply pressure to the gas pedal, the engine will re-engage. It's an emissions thing. It's gonna save you a little bit on gas, uh, but mostly an emissions thing. Just a heads up. And then we've got our three-dimensional camera system in here. So we've got cameras on the front, on the back, and underneath each mirror. So I'm gonna show you that right now click that camera button and we're going to go to this view. So this is our split screen view right here, right? So there's the bird's eye view. Now that's obviously not this vehicle because this vehicle is black, but it superimposes a blazer there. But everything you see around it is in real time. And we can see over here, we got the front. There's looking out the back. You got a, the, the fish eye lens. You can zoom in and see real close what's in your front, what's in your back. This is called the bowl view. That just gives you uh, a little bit more of a, of a heightened view if you're worried about uh, uh, going under something that's a, you know, a little too short or things of that nature. Anytime you feel like inside the car you need to see above it, you would use that one. This view is also really nice for uh, parking in tight spaces. If you've got a garage and you've got kids and you've got bikes everywhere, uh, and you got toys and stuff like that. It's nice to be able to sneak into your garage and know um, that there's something there before you run into it. And that works on the rear tires as well. And then this is our trailer hitch camera. No more getting in and out and in and out and in and out and trying to figure out, oh, am I there? Am I close? I'm so close. Now, if we're backing up to the trailer, we know exactly if we're close or not. And then you push this little button right here. It looks like a house to go back to the home screen. That is this screen right here. Now there's a million other things that I can talk about this, but we're already at the nine minute mark and that's a really long video. So, Glenn, I would love to invite you in. Come take a look, come take a test drive. I have tons of Blazer options here. Again, Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. My name is Brian. I appreciate your time, Glenn. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you real soon.